All right, we have a 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. Um, this thing's been sitting for a while without a battery. And when we put the battery in and try to start it, uh, the ABS system activated the system system function test. So when we turn on the car, you see the ABS and traction control are on, the lights are on. Uh, the traction control light is blinking. Different Volkswagen Audi models going to have different sequence of the lights blinking or turning on and off and so on and so on. Uh, if we go to ABS control module, scan for codes, we see the system function test activated. This code is not going to clear out. This code, it's now it's not an error code, it simply means that the ABS control module wants you to perform the ABS function test. Pretty much you need to drive the car. There's a special procedure how to do this, which I'm about to show you. Step number one, you gotta start the car up. Uh, make sure you're scan tool is not connected to the ABS control module otherwise you will not be able to see uh, cars acknowledgement of your doing the procedure we see the traction control light is blinking the ABS light is solid on uh, number one step in the procedure is you have to press the brake pedal pretty hard it's gonna create the pressure in the brake system for the pressure sensor to see about 35 bar pressure and it will change the way the lights are blinking or glowing to let you know that you did see the pressure. See, I'm gonna press the brake pedal right now. See, now the lights changed. Now you gotta put her in drive. And you gotta go on the street line, speed up to about 10, 12 miles an hour and turn the steering wheel left or right and keep on going until you see the lights change. You cannot turn it more than like a turn. It's gotta be a little less than a turn. So we'll do it like this. The procedure is done. Now if we go into the control module and scan for codes, the codes are cleared out. This is how you do the ABS function test. <clears throat> no, the lights were blinking because I was connected to the ABS module. So, step number one, start the car, press the brakes pretty hard. You see the lights change in the dashboard. Start going straight, about 10 to 12 miles an hour. Turn the steering wheel left or right, it don't matter which way you turn it. As long as you don't turn it more than a turn, more than a complete turn they say it shouldn't be more than 180 degrees but usually finding a space like that is pretty tough so i do it more than 180 degrees but it still still does the trick and make sure you don't have any more codes in the abs system and you're all set